Hi there and welcome back to Gaming Crazy, this is Mark and today we're going to be playing The Last Campfire. So this is my first look at this game. I saw a brief clip of the gameplay and a little bit of the trailer the other day and uh, within a few seconds of it playing it, it was like wow. It was uh, something to see. Uh, so I've set this up for today and uh, if it's as good as what I saw of it, which is about a minute of a trailer, uh, we're in for a real treat today. So here we go. This is, like I say, my first look into this today. So I'm just wondering now, um, is it going to roll straight to the gameplay from the intro? Has lost his paddle. There is a place where the lost embers go. As the light begins to fade. Loving the music to this so far. Ember stood still, unable to face what was to come. The wall glistened. The painting showed Embers on a sacred journey. So is this supposed to be my map? The painting showed embers on a sacred journey. It's repeated because I've just hit the button again. <laughs> well, I'll come away from that. 
Who's this little guy? Ember felt so afraid and alone. Oh, I think he's dead. That it was a relief to find someone to talk to. Ember froze, almost too frightened to look away, when they noticed a small satchel. So we've got a little bag. The satchel felt heavy. Ember looked inside. The statue shone brightly in the light. There was a symbol on the floor. So I'm guessing we've got to lock these up to open that or something. Let's have a look. Ember noticed something wrong. Yeah, the symbol's upside down. Now we can move it. So what I got from the trailer of this, basically, it's, it's a puzzle platform game. Um, with the most unique design I've seen in a long time. Let's see what we've got here then. It's definitely a slower pace the crazy stuff that's been on Gaming Crazy at the moment. It's nice to do something a little bit different every now and again. There was a round space where something used to fit. So it looks like I'm going to put the statue in there. To Ember's delight, the golden statue slid perfectly into place. Looks like some sort of slide puzzle. Ah. And I'm guessing I've got to get the statue to the light. That'd be my guess. I guess correctly. Ember left, feeling sorry for the stranger now alone in the dark. The stairway opened into a dark forest. Ember could feel fear taking over. They'd washed up alone, somewhere very unfamiliar. Ember felt like they were being watched. Right, circle to dash. I'm guessing I'm going to get chased by something now. In multiple different ways. That's interesting. What's this? The path was blocked. Just seeing something move behind it as well. The foxes howled into the night. The only reply was silence. As Ember approached, the flames seemed to call out. With a feeling like falling, the forest had slipped away. Ember felt lost in darkness and ruin. Got Indiana Jones style puzzles here. 
So let's put it on here. So I've just noticed a like a pull switch on the other side. The caged oh. flame stoked new hope in Ember. Oh, I get it. I've got to do the steps on both sides. I mean, so far the puzzles are pretty straightforward, but I'm assuming that's part of like a tutorial. So as soon as the, the game goes on, it's going to get a lot harder. And I could climb up the chain that side, I'm just kind of curious why I've got this here. So anything I can interact with in there. It's that gold thing, nothing. Ah. Looking too much into it. <laughs> Liking the touch with the uh, the narrating over the top. The flame spoke and Ember listened. The flame lingered ahead. Was it trying to escape? Or leading the way? Who's got a friend? to life. The ghost spoke. Hope has returned to a forlorn. I will warm them until they choose to move on. Ember looked to the ghost for answers. This is a place between places. To travel through as your light fades, but none have passed on in a long time. The Forest King now holds us here, and those who linger will turn forlorn. Again that word, forlorn. The forlorn are those who lost their way along the path. If you find them, Send them to me and I will guide them. I am just a guide along the way to fan the flame. So many lost embers have I seen. More than I could help. Ember thought of those they loved. Those they'd left behind. There are others lost along their journey. Find them and I will guide them. Step backwards, little Ember. Look behind. Upon a small grassy cliff rests a forlorn. The stranger said, take care of those you care about the most.
Right. Original is an understatement. This is amazing. The door was sealed shut. Right, so it's like I'm on a little mission to rescue, is it the full on? You know, a clear understanding of uh, who's who. So I think now we've done the tutorial part of the beginning of the game, so to speak. We'll see the real deal now. Alright, so I need to find a way across there. I didn't notice before I came in here that... Um, there's like an entrance to a cave, so I think there's two ways in. I'm going to go out and come back in the other side, I think. Yeah, there's another entrance that side. But I can't get in there yet. Yeah, <laughs> look at that little chap on the corner. A little fishing rod. Right, okay, so it looks like I can't get to any of this part yet until I've got up there and knocked that chain down. I can't go in that other cave yet either. So I wonder if there's a detail. Ah, oh, here we go. Barely visible through the murky water was the shadow of something hiding, and on a small pier with barely a sound, a lonely fisherman sat. We'll have a chat with a fisherman, I think. And on oh. a small pier with barely a sound, a lonely fisherman sat. Right, it seems to be a lot you have to do before you can get to there. Right. That's fine. Just discovering the world of this game at the moment. I love the little creatures. <laughs> <laughs> it's just those little touches. I mean, look at the little blue things running around. <laughs> They're great. Right. Ah. The traveller said, You sailed in here. Where's your boat? Friend, you need a boat. Go see the builder in the caves. Tell them I'm sorry I never came back. It just opens up more and more. The stranger had blazed <laughs> their own path. Loving the puzzle elements of this as well. Created their own rock, their own islands. Right, I think I've got what I've got to do. Right, hang on. I'm hoping I can just put this down where I like. They did not need Ember's kindness. Yeah. Hang on, but what purpose does that serve me? It doesn't. Hang on a minute. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Trying to think but here. Still, Ember stayed. Can I carry this up a ladder? Assuming you can't. No. So I'm just wondering how I'm going to get that to the.
Hmm. I know how to do it. I figured it out. It is very late at night me recording this game today. <laughs> Well, tonight, she would say. Should it ever be needed? I'm making excuses that one taking so long doing the puzzles. You gotta make the excuses. The stranger met Ember's eyes. The two shared a moment of silence. The stranger met Ember's eyes. The two shared a moment of silence. Hmm. I'll see if we've got an alternative way. Just wondering, as I've just seen the other one down here, I place on here, what will I do? Yeah, so a chat to him up there first before I go in there. The ember was curious. Where did you wake up? I'm headed for the crossroads. It's not far, I think. I've heard there's a nest there. A safe place. Right, before I go through that doorway at the top, I'm just going to see what's in here. This is the other side of that cave I was trying to get in earlier. Stranger was trapped, caught in a maze. This was interesting. Okay. Hmm. So he got to save himself. Oh, I'll go backwards. Send you back. So, okay. I'm going to see if we can get through this maze. Because obviously it's going to wake him up. And that's what I want to do. So, what I've got with this, apart from having a... The was trapped, caught in a maze. Apart from having a very nice narrated story. These extremely unique design creatures. Is basically we're going to get into different areas with mazes and puzzles to awaken... These little guys. I'm not entirely sure how we negotiate this. Oh, that's how you do that. Okay. Right. 
right. I literally, I'm just making this up as I go along. Can I move that backwards? Just got a feeling that um, if I turn this, that's going to move that. It's making me wonder, should I have kept that on the... And then... Well, I think I know what you're supposed to do. Again, this is all wild gas here. Why do I want to do that? Ho <laughs> This looks complicated. Right, I'm going to go with the original plan. And I'm going to move that there. I don't know why. Just got a feeling I should do that. Oh, so if we get deeper into this puzzle, more will make sense. It was hard to make sense of this place. Oh, I think I get it. So, in order to get the ladder, I've got to fill that gap at the bottom, so I need to roll on those that way. But also, having that... Those wheels are facing the wrong way, I've noticed. So if I'm there, there's no way I can move it that way. Oh, hang on a minute. No. Huh. Unless... Hang on, I think I've got an idea. I know it's kind of... Oh, just glitched. Bizarre. Uh, unless... I'm wrong, and, and I'm reversing exactly what I just did. I think it's this. If it's not, I'm just going to come out of it. It was just a quick look at this, it's not going to spend hours looking at puzzles today. I'm just making this up as I go along. I think it's something to do with that. Yeah, can I? Access this from different points, no. Hmm. Ah, I figured it out. I have figured it out. And then I move that. <laughs> uh, what was I saying about? I figured it out. Hang on a minute. Right. Oh, what have I done? Right. Nope. Put it there. I think I need to... I think I'm definitely on something. Oh, I can't. I need to be there, don't I? Right. Unless... Oh, hang on a minute. I had another thought. No, because then that's going to fall in the big hole, isn't it? Huh. <laughs> well, that's completely thrown me out there. That. Oh no, of course it won't, because it'll cover the gap. Right, now, I think my, um, 
idea was about spot on, I think. So what I've got to do is I've got to get to the other side. Aha! There we go. And he can get down there. So I've got to go all the way back. Let's go across the side. So I've got to move that back. Done it. That took some thinking. The stranger's voice was hoarse. I just need some time, I think, to see things clearly. So we're awoken him. So what I'm going to do, just before I finish, is I'm just going to go through this little doorway here. At the pond. Ah, that's all I want to see. We had to wait the fisherman. The fisherman murmured quietly between soulful breaths. The fisherman felt so useless. His former joys were hollow. Oh, sh thought I was going to kill me then. Sitting out there every day by the pond. I've no idea what turning those do. I'm just making this up Only to go the along. Dark water to hear him talk. In that darkness, a glimmer flickered. Thoughts beating like a drum. A thought that went round and round. It all started with a frog. Every day by the pond, a constant reminder. I'm assuming if those were turning away, it would have blown the flame out, and then uh, we would have had an issue. And the fisherman wakes up. For a brief moment, the fisherman struggled to speak. He looked at Embo, hopeful. The fisherman spoke softly. There's a frog in that pond, a big one. Saw him grow from a tadpole. We were friends of a sort. Spent every day side by side. So much better at fishing than me, that frog is. Catches them before I can bait them. Oh, it makes me feel useless some days. The fisherman sighed. I've wasted so much time feeling like this. The old man looked carefully at the pond, at their rod, at Ember? Well, listen to me here, rambling on and on. It helps, though, telling someone. Thank you, Ember. If you need help catching anything, you just ask. So that's our uh, first look at the last campfire. And first impressions of the first play on this today is one word, wow. 
absolutely fantastic really really enjoyed that it's it's very original this what i really love about indie games is the originality the thought the well everything is put into it you always find there's original titles with indie games that's what i really like about them very unique and this is definitely a really good example of that so yeah really really loving the last campfire i do want to play a lot more of that and uh get stuck into it. I love the idea of the story with the puzzle element, the character design that's really unique and I can see the puzzle's going to get a lot more challenging as well. I mean that last one I did, that took some thought to actually do that and uh, I can imagine it's going to get a lot harder so uh, yeah it's a, it's a great game, absolutely fantastic game. So that's it on Gaming Crazy today. Hope you've enjoyed today's video as much as I have playing in this game today. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to get back on this at a later time. So anyway, thank you for watching. Also, thank you for supporting the channel. And I'll catch you next time on Gaming Crazy. Thank you very much.